All right, what's up, everybody? I'm back at Texas Roadhouse. It's been a, it's been like a year, maybe longer, actually, since I last been here. Um, it's time to try some of their food here. Uh, what I got here is the prime rib, which is the Jeff special. We actually do have Jeff here with us today. But I'm gonna try another Jeff special here. Let's get into it. All right. Horse yeah. Thank you. I got some horse radish here. Oh yeah, always have that horse radish. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so we got the horse radish here, both creamy and raw. Um, you ought to have horse radish with prime rib. So what I mentioned here, we got a medium rare prime rib here. Um, it looks pretty. This is like the thickest prime rib I've ever seen. Usually prime ribs like thin. But that's because I'm used to getting it like hometown buffet or something. So um, let's get into it. Got some horseradish here. I'm gonna try some without first, actually. Get this little piece here. This looks nice and fatty, nice and juicy. That's really good. It's super beefy. It's really juicy. And I don't know, it's nice, It's really tender. I, I cut off the bit from the end, so there's a lot of fat to it, which is really, really good. Got the onions and the mushrooms juice seeping in there as well. This is probably the best um, steak I've had from Texas Roadhouse. I highly recommend this one, the prime rib. It's really good. I might get some of this uh, horseradish here now. Take it to the next level. A little horseradish, I like spicy food, so. A little horseradish is pretty good, in my opinion. Let's get into it. Mm. Creamy horseradish takes it to another level. It's kind of like, sometimes wasabi on beef can be a good combo. Similar concept here. This primer is actually pretty damn good. It's so fatty and so beefy. I love it. I have to give this a four and a half out of five. Chili, I mean, this is just chili. Better than Wendy's chili, let's see. It's just chili. About as good as Wendy's chili or sweet tomatoes chili, rest in peace. Let me add the fries here. Fries are whatever too. It's like Red Robin steak fries. You dip in on the chili though, it's pretty good. Now the sides are whatever, they're just standard. With the prime rib, it's really good. And the three rolls are really good too. So, Texas Roadhouse is still pretty darn good. I like this place a lot. All right, I'm gonna interview these guys. These guys never been to Texas Roadhouse before. Eli. What do you think about uh, that uh, ribeye or whatever that is? Beef, potato, and a dump truck. Dump, dump truck? Dump truck, yeah. <laughs> it's really good, I like it. It does look pretty good. It's, pretty, it's loaded with a bunch of good stuff. Nice. And this prime rib is perfectly cooked, so I, I gotta say it's really good. All right, nice. All right, Bevo, you got the country fried steak, and brown gravy. How do you like that? It's pretty good, but it's just a lot more appetizing than what they got on prime rib. Yeah. Damn. But would you say that country fried steak is better than Evergreen Inn? The what? Evergreen Inn. I never got the one on EPBS. Oh man, we should have had beef and try this then. Alright. But you say it's still pretty good, right? Yeah. Beef fan all the way over there. Got a burger this time. What do you think? Pretty good. This was overhyped, in my opinion. The buns? Damn. <laughs> you still think uh, Red Lobster biscuits are better? Damn. What does deserve the hype was the Blooming Onion. The Blooming Onion deserves the hype? And I even said it was overhyped. So perhaps I am actually in the wrong here. I've been recommending the wrong things. All right. And then we got Jeff here. Jeff's a local at this point from Texas, also from this city. Uh, what do you think about this? Um, uh, what you got, the country fried steak there? Yeah. yeah. Good? It's a little salty this time. A little salty. Uh, I mean, they always get the crisp of the fried part really well. Yeah, it does look really crispy. And it's always used for, I'm not even like 
Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. And that's been the Sunday Sinners here uh, at uh, Texas Roadhouse. Um, been your main man wing drops. We're done here. Hi, I'm very sorry, but this video, this guy who makes the video sucks. It's a solid 6 out of 10. Yo, Andy, basically. Subscribe, 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 like the video, yes, my share friend. it. It's time to... <laughs> That's the good one. Mamma Mia. Uh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Alright, like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment, especially if you think all this is bullshit. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Eleven Arts. Eleven Arts. Still the beautiful. By the way, we're not in the car. Well, this video is sponsored by Blue Acre. I know we're in a restaurant, but it's still sponsored by Blue Acre. Hey, that's pretty good.